arctan of 1 over x is a composite function, so to find its derivative we need to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime. In this case, f, our outside function, is the arctan function, and g, our inside function, is 1 over x. With that in mind, we begin applying the chain rule. The outside function, again, is arctan x, so we have to start with f prime of g of x. That means we need to take the derivative of arctan, but leave that inside function unchanged. Typically, the derivative of arctan x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So what we'll have is 1 over 1 plus the inside function squared. Then we need to multiply by g prime. That's the derivative of the inside function. Remember that 1 over x is x to the negative 1, so the derivative of that inside function is just negative x to the negative 2, and that's what we see there. And then we can simplify this a little bit. 1 over x squared is 1 over x squared. And negative x to the negative 2 is the same as negative 1 over x squared. We can, of course, move x to the negative 2 down to the denominator by making the power negative. Then what we can do is multiply this x squared that's in the denominator through this denominator. So when we multiply it by 1, we're going to just get x squared. And when we multiply it by 1 over x squared, we're going to just get 1. And so we arrive at our fully simplified answer, negative 1 over x squared plus 1. Again, that comes from multiplying these two things together, so the numerator becomes negative 1, and in the denominator you get x squared, and then you get plus 1. So that's the derivative of arctan of 1 over x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlist in the description for more. Thanks for watching.